getting an early morning walk on this morning. It's about 6, 10 a.m. right now. Putting in our three miles in. The beauty of living next to the foothills. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, what? look. Big house is open already. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> left a sign open on it last night. You left it on? <laughs> it must have. <laughs> look at that. Lights, oh, are, lights are on and nobody's home. The lights are on and nobody's home. What up, Tube? Today is Monday, April 8th. Uh, you guys already saw. Went for my morning walk with my lady this morning. We did three miles. So, it's a good start to the day already. I feel good. Ready to go hit it out today. Today here in the California and the Los Angeles Basin is going to be hot. Uh, the weatherman says 95 degrees, so I expect it to be really, really hot. So that means it's going to be really, really busy. Because you guys, do you guys know when it gets hot, people come to get haircuts. So I'm going to grab my newspaper and head to the shop right now. We have one week left, guys, before uh, Uncle Sam hits us. Okay? I already did my taxes, but I want to reflect on that today because it is a very, very important topic as a barber. tax time what is tax time for you guys that are just getting started in this business you know you're independent contractors guys when you're a barber you're an independent contractor in case for you guys out there that don't know what that means is that when you file your tax return there's no w-2 nobody's gonna hand you a w-2 and tell you this is how much money you made this is how much money we paid uncle sam for you it's not a regular job in this business in this business you are self-employed what that means is that nobody's gonna hand you that w-2 you got to report what you make you know unless you're getting 1099 which you should be getting 1099 I 1099 my employees but if you're not if you're working at a shop where you're on the um, you pretty much claim whatever you want. I mean, it's up to you what you're going to claim. But remember, guys, keep in mind that you guys can't buy anything legitly. You can't buy a home. You can't buy a ride if you don't have proof of what you make. You know, so get on it. Start filing a tax return. I, I don't know how much you're going to put down, but you have to put something down. Get it going. If you if you already have a professional license in the state of California, you should be filing a tax return under that state license. Because if you're not, they're going to be they're going to be count, they're going to be hounding you. If you're getting letters from the state, it's probably why you're getting that letter from the state because you haven't filed a tax return and you're holding a professional license. Keep that in mind. If you're a barber in this business, if you're a barber already, okay. You should already be using, you should, you're self-employed. You should already be filing under self-employed taxes, okay? Which means you have to keep account of everything you spend because everything is a deduction to you. Your gas is a deduction to you. Your car is a deduction to you. Everything's a deduction to you, okay? But you can't keep those numbers in order if you don't do the proper accounting, okay? My suggestion to you guys starting off right now, brand new barbers, is to open a bank account under your business name, all right? That means you're whatever you call your business, okay? Maybe Fred the Barber, okay? So you Fred the Barber, then you gotta, that's your entity, that's gonna be your name of your business. And you have to open an account in that name. And then you use that ATM, it's gonna be an ATM account, which is a checking account. You're gonna use that checking account to pay for everything. And that's gonna be your proof. That's gonna be your proof that you're using it, you know? When my business account, I use, I, when I go put gas, I use my business card. When I go to dinner, I use my business card. When I go somewhere, if I go on vacation, I use my business card. The reason being because when you're self-employed, 
everything is a deduction. Everything is, uh, uh, you take it into account because everything that I do runs my business. When I go out somewhere, I'm using, I, I, uh, my business is running it. And my business, my business is always running. So you have to keep that into consideration, guys. And that's the best way to keep that accounting, you know? Get yourself in, in, in into a, a business account and, um, you know, keep track of all your businesses, all your tr transactions. That way at the end of the year when it's tax time, you can always go back and look at, okay, I spent this much on this. Because you remember your bank statements, they categorize everything for you. So every time you use your business card to pay for something, it's going to categorize it for you. And, and there's programs that you can add on that help you in that situation also. But those are just tips that, of things that, you know, when you're a barber that you need to do to be successful. Because... It, like I've said it, and I've said it once, and I've said it time again. It doesn't matter how much money you make if you can't prove it. Remember that. You can make $100,000 a year. Can you go buy a house? No. Because you can't prove that you make that $100,000 unless you're getting a W-2 or you're filing a tax return. And you're not getting a W-2 if you're a barber, so you're going to have to file a tax return. So somewhere down the line, if you plan on buying a home, then guess what? You're going to have to prove that you make enough money to pay for that home plus pay for everything else that's on your credit report which means credit cards means everything else they take it everything into consideration so that's your tip for this morning keep that in mind and um get on the grind guys it's monday it's money making day look at that makes me want to go fly my drone they're right up there right now. I could be up there back at the shop within a half hour. Nah. Better go back to work. Do the right thing. Tax time. Tax time could be, for some people, it's a great time. You know, a lot of people get money back and they're always happy. But guess what? You, put, you chose the wrong profession. When you're a barber, you really never get money back. Hardly. I mean, unless you have a gang of children and, you know, you're getting that earned income credit, you're never going to get too much money back. Uh, you'll always have to pay. It's just part of this kind of business. When you're self-employed, you always end up having to pay. It's just, it is what it is. And, and um, that's the profession we chose. And, and you know, according to how much you put on your tax returns, it's going to determine on what you're going to be able to purchase. So keep that in mind guys I mean eventually you want to put enough money on there that you can buy a house and buy a, ho a car and, and, and all that you know what I mean but if you never put that amount of money on your tax returns then guess what when it comes down to buy those those things they're gonna they're gonna shoot you down and shoot you down quick um, unless you get like some kind of crooked loan or something but you know you seen how that is that that happened 2010 when the when the market valley when the market crashes because people were getting loans that they they couldn't afford so you got to be make sure that you can afford your loan if you're going to get one Just like
Well, that's it for this week, guys. Uh, kind of want to reflect on this week again. Uh, you know, we went over the three things that make you a better barber on Thursday. Uh, Friday, we went over the Braun 9 series review, which was a good, I got a lot of responses from that. The three things that make a better barber, got a good response from that. Uh, you know, all the other things that we discussed this week, they're, um, Take into consideration everything I said, guys. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm like, these things that I that I spill at you sometimes is things that I'm going throughout, going throughout in my shop, you know. And sometimes I, you know, I talk about situations that are going on here, and I try to explain it to you to so that you guys don't make that same mistake out there, you know. And um, but you guys got to listen, you know. Even the People that I, I, I sometimes talk about, they don't even listen, you know? And, and everybody needs to listen. Everybody needs to, everybody needs to be accountable for themselves. Um, with that being said, guys, uh, it was another great week here at the shop. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, today was a little bit stressful. Uh, just, you know, I'm battling with things here at the shop that <clears throat> I need to control myself. And, and it's, it's a management, it's a, it's a management thing on my part. And that's the hardest part about being a barbershop owner, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, is, is managing the people that work for you. Cause there's, everybody's different. Everybody has a different personality. Everybody thinks different. Everybody thinks of themselves different. Everybody, you know, thinks, puts themselves in different levels. And and, and, and it's it's hard. It's hard for, for, for an owner. It's hard for a manager. It's hard, you know. But uh, we deal with this on a daily basis and, and we roll with the punches and we just keep going, you know. And, um, Today, we talked about taxes. Get your taxes done, guys. Don't mess around with that. IRS, Uncle Sam is the one creditor you do not want to mess with, guys. He is the only creditor in the world that will put you in jail if you do not pay him. Remember that. He will put you in jail. You can pay, not pay your credit cards, not pay your mortgage, not pay your car. Nobody's going to come after you. They might come take their car away. They might take their house away, but nobody's going to put you in jail. The government will. Remember that. Pay your taxes. Pay your taxes. It's your civic duty. You know what I mean? You wanna you wanna be successful? Pay your taxes. Have good credit. That's my tip for you guys for this week, alright? That's the best thing I could tell you guys. With that being said, that's it for today. Leave me some comments below. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. It's all good. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow or Wednesday. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog on my days off. Uh, uh, we'll see how that rolls. If not, I'll see you guys back on Thursday. Thank you again for watching another daily edition of Big Al's Barber Channel Vlogs. And thank you for hanging in for another week. Hey, and that person that got to me today on, on Instagram and gave me a, a, a heads up and told me that that I inspire him. And thank you for uh, uh, reaching out to me. And I'm going to keep posting these videos. Keep listening, guys. This is all true fucking spit right here. I'm telling you guys the truth. The truth. Nobody's telling you guys nothing but the truth. I, with that, have a blessed week, and I'll see you guys on Thursday. See you.